Hey everyone, how's it going? Thanks so much for tuning in. Today, we're going to be taking an in-depth look at the 2024 Dodge Hornet RT+. Plus. As with all of my reviews, I'm going to cover all of the ins and outs and take this thing on a thorough drive. There's a whole lot of stuff to cover, so without further ado, let's go ahead and start her up and let her run. The Dodge Hornet is an all-new compact utility vehicle that's poised to make a splash in an already highly competitive segment. With muscular styling, a driver-focused interior, and impressive performance and efficiency. If you've done any research on the Hornet, you've probably realized that it's very close in relation to the Alfa Romeo Tenale. They're practically one and the same, with the Hornet being the more affordable option. The Tenale is the more premium offering and has some unique things going for it to distinguish it as such. That being said, much of what I'll be covering in this video will also carry over to the Tenale. I actually have a review on the Tenale Veloce already on the channel which offers a great comparison to the Hornet we're checking out today. I also have a review on the entry level Hornet GT if you'd like to check that out. For the 2024 model year, the Hornet is offered in four flavors. GT, GT+, Plus, RT, and RT+. Plus. Base pricing ranges from $31,400 to $46,400. The RT models offer the brand's first electrified powertrain that combines a substantial increase in performance with impressive overall efficiency. Both of the Hornet's powertrains feature standard all-wheel drive. The RT's all-wheel drive system adjusts power automatically between the engine that drives the front wheels and the electric motor that drives the rear wheels, providing instant torque and optimal traction and control to all four wheels. There are seven exterior colors to choose from. Shown here is Blue Bayou, which is a $495 option. This example features the RT Blacktop package, which includes 18-inch gloss black wheels, as well as gloss black badging, side window moldings, and mirror caps. Other packages available for the RT and RT Plus include the Track Pack, Blacktop and Track Pack bundle, and the Tech Pack. This example has everything except for the Track Pack. Of course, I'll highlight all of the standard and optional features as we go through the video. As equipped, the total MSRP for this example, with destination, is $52,925. From the outside, the Hornet brings some serious attitude to this segment, with styling cues that are both functional and distinctive to Dodge. For example, the hood features integrated heat extractors for a performance-focused appearance, along with a male slot-style grill opening, a pronounced horizontal brow of the upper grill, and two small inserts flanking a large lower grill opening. Bifunctional LED projector headlamps with LED accents are standard. Integrated into the muscular lines of the body sides are matte black molded-in colored lower cladding and valences. The RT model features unique abyss painted lower cladding and a rear valence with integrated dual exhaust ports. The Hornet's tail lamp extends the full width of the vehicle and features a lighted red signature as well as illuminated Dodge Rombi logo in the center. A powered sunroof is standard on the Plus models. The Hornet RT is fitted with 18 by 7.5 inch graphite painted aluminum wheels and 225.55 all season tires as standard. As mentioned before, this example features the blacktop package, which includes these unique 18 by 7.5 inch abyss finish aluminum wheels. 
If you end up opting for the track pack, you get a set of sweet 20 by 8 inch Abyss finished aluminum wheels and 235-40 all season tires. The RT comes standard with a beefy Brembo brake setup to match its higher performance threshold, featuring four piston fixed front calipers and single piston floating rear calipers. The internally ventilated front rotors span 13.53 inches, while the solid rear rotors span 12.08 inches. Also included is a unique intelligent braking system. The electromechanical setup combines the stability control system with conventional servo brakes. Combining electronics and mechanics saves weight, but more importantly it delivers a surprisingly natural feeling, while eliminating pedal vibrations and it yields instantaneous brake response. With this setup, the RT is able to stop from 60 miles an hour in just 109 feet. The park and brake is electronic and engages automatically. Manual control of the park and brake can be had via a switch in the center console. The Hornet's platform benefits from optimized body stiffness and balanced weight distribution. Enhanced body stiffness pays off with greater rigidity, resulting in more control and more confidence under cornering, and increased torsional and bending stiffness through the body structure. The architecture also minimizes cabin rattles and driveline vibrations. The weight distribution is near perfect, with 52% of that weight over the front end. The geometry of the Hornet's independent McPherson-type front suspension is optimized for rapid and precise changes of direction. This reduces steering distortion and limits the application of software filtering, all while optimizing steering control. Out back, the independent three-arm suspension ensures rapid response when engaging in the highest level of lateral acceleration on corners. The RT's suspension also uses a frequency-selective damping technology, developed in collaboration with Kony, to improve performance road holding and simultaneously improve comfort in all driving conditions. With the optional track pack, you get a dual-stage valve electronic suspension that allows you to adjust damping firmness. Developed in conjunction with Marelli, the shock absorbers utilize a special electro-actuated valve within the shock absorber that provides independent damping curves. Two modes are available, comfort and sport, with sport obviously being the firmer of the two. The RT also benefits from active torque vectoring to provide the benefits of an electronic limited slip differential. The result is more grip and control on slippery surfaces, enhanced stability through mid-corner acceleration and greater cornering speed and control, as well as neutralization of understeer. You can turn off the stability control system by a button behind the shifter. The steering is responsive and direct, with precise control and a great feeling. It's an electric rack and pinion setup with a 13.6 to 1 ratio, and it takes about 2.3 turns to go from lock to lock. All in all, the Hornet delivers best-in-class maximum lateral g-force numbers, 0.9 for the RT. The steering wheel has a sporty flat bottom design and comes leather wrap to match the leather wrap shift knob. It's available heated and is adjustable manually for tilt and reach. The turning circle is just under 38 feet in diameter. The 12.3 inch digital cockpit cluster is oriented to the driver and displays three separate information zones allowing the driver to select within each area to customize the crisp, clear graphic displays. The cluster changes its layout depending on the drive mode you have selected. The RT is powered by a new plug-in hybrid powertrain that offers about 33 miles of all-electric range, impressive performance, and excellent fuel economy. The engine is a 1.3-liter, turbocharged, all-aluminum four-cylinder. It develops 288 horsepower and 383 pound-feet of torque, and has the capability to accelerate to 60 miles an hour in about 5.6 seconds. 
the top speed is governed to 125 miles per hour. The engine's turbocharger features an electric actuated wastegate for increased performance and responsiveness. A dedicated water to air intercooler lowers the temperature of the intake air, throttle body and the turbocharger unit, which is mounted directly to the cylinder head to improve durability and reduce emissions. A high pressure direct injection fuel system produces better fuel atomization and mixing. There's double overhead camshafts with four valves per cylinder, cooled exhaust gas recirculation, and third generation multi-air technology. The latter of which improves combustion efficiency by adjusting valve lift and timing. The foundation of the engine is a low pressure cast aluminum block with cast in iron cylinder liners. Each cylinder bore includes gallery mounted piston oil cooling jets to manage piston temperatures, which helps reduce spark knock and increase piston durability. A 90 kilowatt electric induction motor powers the rear axle and can deliver 184 pound feet of torque from a standstill. The 15 and a half kilowatt hour lithium ion battery pack is mounted low along the center of the vehicle and is balanced front to rear. It's fitted with a refrigerant gas cooling circuit to keep the battery at its optimum temperature. A starter generator delivers torque to the engine, aiding in dynamic response and recharging of the battery. A high power inverter and 7.4 kilowatt charging module allows for a full battery charge to be reached in approximately two and a half hours using a level two 240 volt charger. The hybrid system offers three options in delivering electrified power to the wheels, controlled by a button on the bottom left of the steering wheel. Hybrid mode provides maximum combined efficiency of the conventional engine and electric motor, minimizing fuel consumption by setting electric priority until a minimum battery level is met. Electric mode offers an all-electric zero-emission mode and automatically switches to hybrid when the battery is depleted or when extra power is requested by pedal kickdown. E-save mode gives priority to the conventional engine to preserve battery charge, with a passive option to maintain the charge and an active option to help recharge the battery. Sport mode, activated by a button in the center console, sharpens throttle response, optimizes the shift schedule, tightens the steering wheel feel, and accesses the hybrid system's full power and torque. Once the battery reaches its minimum state of charge, the engine will start and the vehicle will operate like a traditional hybrid with continued efficiency and extended range. The powertrain includes a six-speed automatic transmission engineered to maximize the best balance of performance and efficiency of the engine. You can shift the transmission manually via the console shifter or by a pair of large aluminum paddle shifters. The paddle shifters are incredibly satisfying to use. They come standard on the RT. Not only do they feel good with a satisfying clink, but they're quick to respond by a gentle tug of your fingertips. The standard all-wheel drive system adjusts power automatically between the engine, which drives the front wheels, and the electric motor, which drives the rear wheels. This provides instant torque and optimal traction and control to all four wheels. The RT also comes standard with a class exclusive power shot feature that provides a boost of 30 horsepower and quicker torque delivery to shave one and a half seconds off the normal zero to 60 time by boosting horsepower and acceleration using bursts of extra power deployed by the battery and electric motor. It provides 15 seconds of extra horsepower and can be repeated after a 15 second cooldown period. You activate it by pulling both steering wheel paddles and performing a pedal kickdown. The system checks battery charge and temperature levels before performing a launch. When activated, a power shot symbol in the instrument cluster provides real-time feedback to the driver. As far as fuel economy, the Hornet RT on gasoline only achieves an average of around 29 miles per gallon. When using a combination of gas and electricity, its average is equivalent of 77 miles per gallon. 
The total range is up to 360 miles. The RT uses regular unleaded gas and has a total tank capacity of 11.2 gallons. The Hornet's interior is packed with quite a lot of features, even in its more basic forms. It can also be optioned out to your heart's desire with various material, technology, comfort and convenience goodies. The overall design is decidedly sporty and driver focused, while overall initial quality appears very good. The instrument panel utilizes a wrapped and stitched mid bolster that extends through the instrument panel and achieves a cross car read, creating a lighter feeling while adding visual width. On the GT and RT, a combination of black cloth and leatherette upholstery is standard with red accent stitching. Step up to either of the Plus models and you get ventilated, perforated black leather seats. Plus models are also offered with red leather seats for an extra cost. If opting for the track pack, you get exclusive Alcantara suede black seats with red accents. Manually adjustable front seats are standard on the Hornet, while eight-way power adjustable front seats with four-way power lumbar are available. The seats are quite comfortable and offer great lateral support. Heated front seats are available, as are ventilated front seats. All of the seat options feature embossed Dodge Rombi logos on the headrests. The Hornet delivers a technologically advanced user experience while maintaining the Dodge driver-centric user feel through a best-in-class standard 12.3-inch digital cockpit cluster screen and best-in-class standard 10.25-inch Uconnect 5 infotainment system central display. Combined, the Hornet offers 22.5 inches of in-vehicle display screen space. The Android-based Uconnect 5 infotainment system, standard on both the GT and RT models, is easy to use and intuitive, and packed with personalization options that allow the driver to choose the content they desire. Home screens can be personalized as can music preferences, HVAC controls, seat positions, and more. It can all be linked to individual profiles, too. The Uconnect 5 system can be connected to two phones simultaneously, making connecting and sharing simple. The system also features wireless Android Auto and Apple CarPlay to allow easy, cord-free connectivity. The Uconnect 5 system includes content-rich features to keep occupants connected to their digital lifestyles, including Amazon Alexa in-vehicle interaction. Users can ask Alexa to perform functions such as close a garage door at home while inside the vehicle or use Alexa-enabled devices at home to start the car, lock and unlock doors, and more. Dodge Connect and Sirius XM with 360L come standard across the Hornet lineup and is packed with features including a safety and security package, TomTom -tom navigation, 4G LTE Wi-Fi hotspot, and much more. Additional technology, comfort, and safety features for the Hornet include a best-in-class Harman Kardon premium sound system on the Plus models, with 14 speakers and a 465-watt amplifier. Wireless charging is also standard on the Plus models, supplying a 15-watt charge for compatible smartphones. The system includes an LED indicator to communicate when the phone is fully charged or still charging. Some of the many standard comfort and convenience features across all Hornet models include passive entry via the vehicle key fob, rain sensing wipers, and a rear seat reminder system that registers rear entry and exit with each key cycle, and uses a chime and message display to remind the driver to check the rear seat. Optional comfort features for the Hornet include a heated steering wheel, heated seats, and a hands-free power liftgate to name a few. A dual zone climate control system is standard. Front cabin storage includes a cubby ahead of the shifter, which is also where the wireless phone charger would be if equipped. The console also houses type C and type A USB ports, a 12 volt power outlet, two cup holders, and a cubby beneath the center armrest. There's lower door pockets with bottle holders and a generous glove box too. 
Advanced technology enables a slate of innovative safety features that are new for the Dodge brand and augment the capabilities of the Hornet. Standard advanced driver assistance systems and safety features include automatic emergency braking, which detects pedestrians or cyclists on the road and delivers a visual and acoustic warning, and can even bring the vehicle to a full stop to mitigate a collision. A lane support system provides a visual and haptic warning when straying from your lane and performs automatic counter steering. Blind spot detection with rear cross path detection alerts drivers via a visual warning through a triangular icon on the side mirrors, chimes with a warning when the turn signal is active and detects approaching vehicles or objects when backing up. The Hornet also offers three levels of parking assistance, with acoustic and visual warnings displayed on the central screen. Standard features include four rear parking sensors, along with a high-definition backup camera and guidance lines. Additional available parking assistance through the Tech Pack option includes 12 parking sensors and a 360-degree surround view camera. The Tech Pack also offers available parallel and perpendicular semi-autonomous parking. Level 2 Autonomous Driving, with new assistance features that take safety and comfort to the next level, are optional with the Tech Pack, and include Intelligent Speed Assist with Traffic Sign Recognition, which detects the speed limit and provides the driver a one-click operation to adjust speeds. Driver Attention Assist detects fatigue signs and alerts weary drivers with a visual and acoustic warning on the cluster. Intelligent Adaptive Cruise Control maintains an appropriate speed and distance with functionality that supports stop-and-go traffic. A Lateral Control Lane Support System combines lane control and traffic jam assist to keep the vehicle centered in the lane. When it comes to airbags, all Hornets feature advanced multi-stage front airbags, supplemental front seat mounted side airbags, supplemental side curtain front and rear airbags, and a driver's knee airbag. As I mentioned, the Hornet Plus models come standard with a power sunroof. For a small SUV, the Hornet offers excellent accommodations for two adults when using the standard fold-down armrest. You can seat up to three people, but the middle seat is best for temporary use or for children. In fact, there's child seat anchors in all three seating positions. The sunroof allows a lot of natural light in and makes the interior feel a bit more open. There's quite a lot of space overall, and being 5 foot 10 inches, I had ample head and leg room left over. Surprising for such a smaller SUV. I made it a point to ride in the back some during the week I was testing this out and I never felt cramped, which is surprising for a smaller SUV. All three headrests are adjustable. Some extra adjustability with the seat itself, such as a reclining backrest, would be a nice touch, but overall comfort is pretty decent. There's some soft touch materials across the rear door panels. Additional rear seat amenities include lower door pockets and bottle holders adjustable air vents in the back of the center console, USB-C and A device charging ports, seat back storage pockets, overhead LED lighting, and two cup holders in the fold-down armrest. The Hornet's liftgate is manually operated as standard, while a powered liftgate is available. With the powered function, you can program the lift height for low ceilings or easier access. Hands-free functionality is also available which can be a big help if you're carrying a bunch of stuff. Due to packaging of the hybrid components, the RT has less overall cargo volume compared to a GT. Where the difference comes into play is the cargo floor itself. With the GT, you can actually reposition the cargo floor to a lower tier to expand the vertical space and allow for stowing taller items. In the RT, you have a little bit of storage under the floor for smaller items, as well as a tire inflator kit and other related supplies. The lid just can't be repositioned like it can on a GT. That being said, with the floor in space, there's a whopping 27 cubic feet of space to work with. I really like that there's lighting on both side panels to illuminate things. 
there's also various tie-down hooks and a 12-volt power outlet. A handy privacy cover is included if needed. It can also be removed. The rear seat is a 60-40 split design and also has a pass-through built into the middle that can accommodate long, narrow items like skis or planks of wood. With the rear seat folded entirely, the Hornet can hold up to 54.7 cubic feet worth of stuff. Well everyone, that's going to wrap it up for this video. I hope you all enjoyed. Please don't forget to leave a like down below because it really helps the videos a lot. And if you haven't subscribed already, consider doing that too. And make sure you turn your notifications on so you don't miss out on the upcoming videos. I'll see you guys on the next one. Take care.